everyone. Welcome to my channel. I talk everything around astrology and tarot. And now we're going to be looking at Mercury retrograde, which starts from the 1st of April and it carries on till about 25th of April. Now, this is the season of eclipses. I've done two videos about it. I've done one on a lunar eclipse that was there in Libra on 25th of March and the effect of which will last us for the next six months. And the second eclipse is there on the 8th of April, which is there in Aries. So they're both exactly opposite to each other. We have the Libran energy and then we have the Aries energy and then try to balance all of it with a Chiron that is sitting on the helm and watching this entire drama uh, pan out. We then have Mercury, which is the ruler of communication, travel, any kind of technology also comes under Mercury and that is going retrograde simply meaning that it's going to be going backwards. It's going to be retracing its footsteps for the next four weeks. There are a lot of do's and don'ts. I'll upload that video as well. What to do uh, during a Mercury retrograde, which is the normal thing that uh, all of us who follow astrology would know. Now, the scoop on this specific Mercury retrograde is that because um, it's happening during the time where uh, we have uh, the moon, which is there in Libra, and we have the sun, which is there uh, in Aries, and Aries ruled by Mars governs our impulses, our actions, our passions, and also it is moving into a retrograde area. Retrograde means that it's going to be pulling it back. So Aries is not too happy about you know, um, wanting to say things yet, you know, being held back. So you can expect a lot of frustration, a lot of, um, even I would say to a certain extent, feeling very restless, you know, because you cannot communicate or you're not able to really say what is there on your mind. It's really a month to be taking it easy, guys. Just despite all the excitement around the eclipses, just watch out for impulsive actions. Even if you're, you know, if you feel that you need to be speaking your truth, just bite your tongue and we'll let this month go by. Just let April go by and then you may uh, by all means speak your truth. It's not a great month to be asking for a raise. It's not a great month to be getting into confrontations. It's not a great month to be uh, making people see your point of view or rather sort of pushing them into it because that is how it would seem. Also, this is uh, since Aries also governs our own self, our own sense of identity. It can be, you know, that we may feel quite egotistical. We may get into this ego war about, oh, I am not being treated properly or I need to be putting my point of view uh, in front or I am not being included. So all of this... Um, can sort of mess up your mind a bit. So you need to resist the temptation of uh, getting into situations where there's a lot of self-doubt and uh, try and reflect on your own um, true self. What is it that works for you? What is it that truly makes you happy? Try and be your authentic and your genuine self. Keep it as simple as that. Also, uh, keep in mind the assertiveness while communicating, you know, we may feel that we're putting our point and, you know, we don't want to get a rough shot, but uh, this month things can really go awry. So uh, do not uh, insist on being, uh, you know, whether being assertive, I won't say aggressive, but do not insist on being assertive. If someone wants to have their way, if someone wants to show their true colors by the way that they're behaving, let them. It's quite all right. And also, um, this is also a time, you know, where everyone is going to be very reactive. So if you think you're going to be putting your point across and people will uh, sort of sit back and listen, it could turn into quite a combative thing. Uh, it's also not a good month to be forcing your beliefs and your values on others. It's definitely not a good month for gossiping, guys. So, uh, you know, if you have been busy been tearing someone down and you've been sort of been participating even though you may justify it to yourself you know but I'm not saying much but even if you have been participating in it expect it to really blow out of proportion so not a great month to be I think in any case it is 
I don't think so there's any good month to be sitting and gossiping and to be tearing people down. But anyway, if you have been doing it, if you have been participating, do resist that and try not to jump to conclusions and make rash decisions because Mercury will cause misunderstandings. It will make you think the worst. It will make you feel as if you're being attacked, that you are, you know, you have no place in a relationship, that you are not being respected at work. Uh, that you need to be showing your friends uh, how to be honored and how to be respected. Uh, just let that be, you know, just let things slide this month. Just don't dominate conversations. If someone wants to sort of hold the entire court and dominate conversations and be the limelight, let them. It's quite all right. It does not reflect on you personally. In fact, it's a fabulous time that when you give a long rope enough, you will watch the person hang themselves. So it's quite all right. This Mercury retrograde especially is quite packed with surprises and challenges. And um, because it is also going to be around relationships with, like I said, with Libra and with Aries, Aries is going to keep badgering on and Libra will try to sort of hold on to the uh, harmony aspect of it. And also, um, you know, we... Uh, Aries loves being brash and saying things to shock people and you know just letting truth bombs sort of fall out of nowhere uh, and uh, so this is also uh, because the retrograde is on it's not a great time to be throwing truth bombs Aries so just try and um, you know keep things as easy uh, do not play politics do not be underhanded and uh, this month your words can get misconstrued to a level where you wouldn't have even thought and conversations will get repeated out of mouths whom you thought that oh i really trust them it won't get repeated it will get repeated so tempers are going to be um high arguments will arise uh, quickly and uh, not just that you will personally feel quite inclined to Pull everyone on your side and make them see your point of view so um only and it will make it harder like I said, you know, the truth, it's just a time where, because Chiron is sitting there, it's a, a asteroid, it's a healer, and he's going to sort of, uh, people who are rather, I would say, involving or getting involved in all of this, it's going to have quite a self-sabotaging effect. So don't harm yourself, you know, don't put yourself in a place where you will get embarrassed or it will get really awkward for you. And also, of course, there are going to be tech challenges as usually with uh, Mercury. So broken phones, um, deleted documents, malfunctioning uh, Wi-Fi, um, you know, it, it's going to be quite common, especially if you're traveling. So be extremely careful that you have booked the right flights, the dates are right. Um, you know, when you're landing, you have everything correct because Mercury does tend to play hooky a lot during this time. So the cold message of this Mercury retrograde is to think before you speak. And Aries um, is a sign, you know, as in it, it encourages rashness, it encourages impulsiveness. And, uh, you know, while honesty is one of the reasons that why we love most of our Aries friends, but uh, this can be quite hurtful. Some of the stuff that is said or is spoken about friends, about people behind their backs, whether you're tearing them down. And just because you've assumed and you want everyone to think your way, um, you know, it could turn quite ugly. And in fact, your ugliness will get be put up on a display. So avoid um, saying uh, nasty things. Also, um, not a time to be confronting, uh, you know, your friends about something that you want to sort of, you know, feel this is a time that you want to have a that uh, heart to heart chat not a good time to be doing so not a good time to be asking for a raise not a good time to be changing a job not a good time to be starting anything new it's just a time to be um minding your own business just just grab a cup of coffee grab a book or if you are working just do your thing keep your head low just do what you need to be doing and all you need to do is have lots of patience this month and remember that you and all of us can only be affected by the energy that we choose to accept. So it is not about you personally this month. So 
just get rid of things which you know just let them come and slide they are not about you they're really being reflected about the other people it's been a pleasure speaking with you i'll see you again soon i am not going to be doing the monthly uh, regular uh, videos now i'll just be picking up the specials and if there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover i would love to hear um, about that you can mention it